Hi guys, it's Samantha. From a tiny critter that everyone loves to a glowing underwater cephalopod, here are the cutest animals that can also be dangerous. Number 12, koala. This cuddly little creature probably doesn't seem like a threat at all, does it? Koalas are arboreal herbivores, meaning they live in trees, eat plants, and have a pouch like a kangaroo. They only grow up to about 33 inches in length and weigh only 33 pounds, and the males are about 50% larger than the females. Koalas exclusively eat eucalyptus leaves, which have to be thoroughly chewed and processed before digestion is complete. Sometimes, this requires the koala to regurgitate its food back into its mouth for a second chewing. Um, ew. This creature isn't looking cute anymore, is it? Well, that's just the beginning. Not only are koalas nasty eaters, but they can also be dangerous under the right circumstances. Back in late 2014, a woman named Mary Ann Foster was walking her two pups in Australia. They saw a koala at the base of a tree and started walking toward it. The koala lunged out and tried to strike the dogs, but Foster got in the way. She told the local news, obviously the koala felt very threatened because it attached itself with its mouth, jaws, to my leg and bit very hard, bit very deeply. She had to get 12 stitches to close the wound. Number 11, prairie dog. These little critters are burrowing herbivorous rodents, which they dig underground and eat plants. There are five species that live in North America's grasslands, including the white-tailed, black-tailed, Utah, Gunnison's, and Mexican. They got the name prairie dog because they have a unique warning call that sounds like a dog barking. These seemingly cute animals grow between 12 and 16 inches long and weigh up to three pounds. But these tiny guys aren't as sweet as they look. In 2007, a man named John Hoogland was studying white-tailed prairie dogs in Colorado. While he was there, he noticed a female leap onto something, grab it, and shake it around for a few minutes. It turns out that that thing was an infant ground squirrel, a rodent much smaller than a prairie dog, and she had just terminated it. This was the first time he'd seen anything like that. But these ferocious prairie dogs are actually quite common. From 2007 to 2012, Hoogan and his associates recorded 100 incidents of this violent behavior. In some cases, the prairie dogs would wait outside of the ground squirrel's burrow before taking it down. Other times, it would stalk its prey like a tiger on the prowl. The reason for this is most likely to cut down the competition for food in the area. Fewer ground squirrels equals more food for the prairie dogs and their babies. But I bet you'll never look at one of these fuzzy balls the same way ever again. Number 10, beavers. Beavers are large, semi-aquatic rodents that encompass two species, the Eurasian beaver and the North American beaver. They are known for building dams to protect themselves against natural predators including coyotes, bears, and wolves. Plus, these structures help them to easily access food during the winter months. Beavers build at night and also construct lodges, which they reside in. They grow up to about 3 feet long and can weigh as much as 70 pounds. But these cute carpenters aren't exactly the friendliest animals, and they have very sharp teeth. In 2013, a Belarusian fisherman was driving toward a lake with his friends near the capital of Minsk. He saw a beaver on the side of the road and tried to grab him to snap a photo. However, the sizable rodent struck back and bit him numerous times. One of the bites sliced through the man's artery, and he passed away shortly after. Number 9. Swans Oh, the beautiful swan. How could these elegant birds possibly be dangerous? Well, you're about to find out. Swans can grow up to 60 inches in length and weigh up to 33 pounds. Their wingspan can reach as much as 10 feet long. One incident of a swan being dangerous happened in 2012 outside of Chicago. A man who tended to the birds was padding across the pond, and a swan charged his kayak. It flipped his boat over, and he drowned when the waterfowl blocked his way to shore. But swans aren't only aggressive towards people. They are also violent with other swans. In 2010, one of these birds residing in a pond near Pembroke Castle in Wales was given the nickname Hannibal. He went on a spree massacring all of the swans around him. He was the culprit behind 15 swan fatalities and injured 22 more. Hannibal used his wings, beak, and feet to beat the other animals, often to the point of no return. Number 8. Pufferfish You might think that this puffy, semi-adorable looking fish couldn't pose much of a threat, but you'd be wrong. Also known as blowfish, these creatures are highly dangerous. The fish usually avoids predators via a burst of speed but will become enlarged to present itself from being eaten. However, things get really nasty when it is ingested. Pufferfish contain a toxin called tetrodotoxin that is generally lethal to other fish, but it is even more so to people. It is over a thousand times poisonous than cyanide. In a single blowfish, there is enough of it to eliminate 30 adults. Plus, there's no antidote. Despite the fact that you would very well meet your maker after consuming one of these aquatic creatures, pufferfish is still a delicacy in Japan. It is extremely pricey and can only be prepared by chefs that have a license and have been trained to do so. However, even though precautions are taken, several fatalities occur every year from a single misstep. Number 7. Elephants Elephants are usually charming, calm mammals despite their magnificent size, but don't make the mistake of thinking all these creatures are like Disney's lovable Dumbo. Elephants can be extremely dangerous under the right circumstances. The most threatening are males that are in must, a condition caused by a significant rise in testosterone levels. There is no specific time of the year this takes place, and there can be other factors involved besides hormones. 
However, elephants can also become aggressive when they are injured, sick, or being harassed. So don't get yourself into a sticky situation. The sheer size of these mammals is enough to take anybody down, especially when they decide to charge. Number 6. Slow Loris This big-eyed fuzzy critter is a nocturnal primate. They have a wet nose, small brain, great sense of smell, and wonderful night vision. The slow loris has a rounded head and a little pointed snout, but their most prominent feature is their eyes, which is what makes them so adorable. However, just because these cuties look like living beanie babies doesn't mean they aren't dangerous. Slow lorises have glands located on their inner arms near their elbows. When they are disturbed, they secrete a clear, pungent fluid that is akin to the allergen found in cat dander, which can result in an allergic reaction. Their bites can also cause swelling and pain, which is enhanced since they regularly lick their glands. But there has only ever been one reported fatality linked to a slow loris bite, which was most likely caused by anaphylactic shock from an extreme allergic reaction. Slow lorises are widely accepted as venomous, but there are some that disagree and say they are classified as poisonous. Number 5. Dolphins At this point, you're probably like, come on, first koalas and now this? But it's the truth. These seemingly friendly aquatic mammals can be threatening in some situations. First of all, dolphins are notably one of the most intelligent animals in the world. They are very social and usually live in groups of up to 12 called pods. Some dolphins are even known to use tools. One such incident was discovered when Pacific bottlenose dolphins were observed demonstrating how to use tools to their young. They cover their noses with sponges while foraging for protection. The river dolphins in Brazil will even use sticks and weeds during a romantic display. However, the danger doesn't involve trinkets. Males often become aggressive toward one another over females and other pod members, and the loser will sometimes be exiled from the group. These creatures are also known to eliminate their young and hunt porpoises, but they can also be a threat to humans. One such incident took place in 1994. A well-known bottlenose dolphin in Brazil took the life of Joao Morea and broke the ribs of Joao's friend, Wilson. However, this dolphin had been harassed on numerous occasions, including someone trying to pour beer down its throat and plug the blowhole with an ice cream cone. Number 4. Bears It shouldn't surprise anybody that these huge mammals can be really dangerous. They are carnivores, and the polar versions can grow over 9 feet long and weigh upward of 1,500 pounds. So don't confuse these animals with their fuzzy, teddy counterparts. There have been numerous bear encounters with people that didn't end well. One such event happened in August 2018. A boy and his family were hiking in Yellowstone National Park, southeast of Old Faithful, and the bear came out of nowhere, charged the kid, and knocked him down. Luckily, his parents were able to ward off the animal with bear spray, but he still suffered injuries around his rear end, punctured wounds on his back, and a damaged wrist. However, sometimes things turn out even worse for victims of bear aggression. A man named Timothy Treadwell was an environmentalist and bear enthusiast who spent time in Katmai National Park every summer for 13 years. He would get up close and personal with the giants regularly, against everyone's recommendation, and a massive male grizzly mauled he and his girlfriend during his 13th summer at the park. The park rangers took the animal down while they were trying to retrieve Treadwell and his girlfriend's bodies and discovered limbs and fingers inside the bear during the autopsy. They also found a camera that had been operating in the midst of the awful incident that had recorded Treadwell's final screams. Werner Herzog made a film called Grizzly Man, a documentary detailing Treadwell's work in Alaska, which released in 2005. Number 3. Leopard Seal Oh my gosh, aren't these guys cuddly and adorable? Wrong. Think again, everyone. Leopard seals are one of the most aggressive species toward humans. They are also called sea leopards and are the second largest seal species in the Antarctic. The only other animals they have to worry about are killer whales and elephant seals. Sea leopards grow up to 11 and a half feet long and can weigh over 1,300 pounds. Yikes. They also have gigantic jaws and razor-sharp teeth. Leopard seals present a serious risk to humans as they come in contact with. Assaults are rare, but you should still stay away from these animals. In July 2003, a British marine biologist named Kirsty Brown was snorkeling near the Rothera Research Station in Antarctica when she was dragged underwater by one of these massive animals. After she was pulled out of the water, the on-site doctor attempted to resuscitate her for about an hour, but it was too late. Number 2. Blue Ringed Octopus There's no denying that the Blue Ringed Octopus is absolutely mesmerizing. Their flesh is a light yellow color patterned with neon blue rings which change hue when the octopus feels threatened. This creature generally feeds on little animals, including shrimp, hermit crabs, and other crustaceans. So it isn't them eating that you need to worry about. This octopus only grows up to 8 inches long, but if you get bitten by one of these, you'll know almost immediately. You might not feel the initial bite. However, the blue-ringed octopus venom contains tetrodotoxin, like a pufferfish, but also encompasses histamine, octopamine, taurin, and dopamine. If you become envenomated, then you might experience respiratory arrest, nausea, heart failure, complete paralysis, and blindness. If left untreated for long, then the bite will prove fatal, most likely due to the paralysis of the person's respiratory muscles. Unfortunately, there is no anti-venom available. And now for our number one. Don't forget to subscribe. Number one, poison dart frog. 
Number one on our list is the poison dart frog, also known as the poison arrow frog or dart poison frog, because it only takes touching one to be in serious trouble. These amphibians reside in Central and South America. Many dart frogs are brightly colored. Despite their brilliant shades, they might still be difficult to spot. These critters are often less than half an inch long, and if you do see one, then you should refrain from going near it. Most poison dart frogs secrete toxins through their skin. The most dangerous species is the Phyllobates terribilis, also called the golden poison frog, which contains enough toxins to eliminate 10 adult men. The poison is called batrochotoxin, which causes paralysis. It is lethal if it enters the bloodstream. In fact, these creatures got their name because people used to coat their arrows with the poison. Today's feature comment comes from James on our Top Slow Breakups of 2018 video. Thanks for the comment, James. Don't forget to leave your comments below and we might feature you in a future video. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.